After skipping the event last year, Google hosted its annual developers conference last night and made a lot of announcements in a two hour long event. And I'm sure you must have missed out on some. So we have got you covered. You're watching Indira Tech. I am Anas Tiwari and here is every major announcement made at Google I.O. 2021. But before we start this video, please subscribe to Indira Tech YouTube channel if you haven't already. Also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any updates from our end. Now, there were a lot of announcements made but the most important one was this. By taking a look at our new UI for Android. We've overhauled everything, revamping the way we use color, shapes, light and motion inspired by Material U. We've got something new planned for Google Pixel using what we call color extraction. The system creates a custom palette based on the colors in my photo. The result is a one of a kind design just for you. And it seems like we may finally have some competition for the Apple Watch because Google has now joined hands with Samsung to come up with a new smartwatch platform. Samsung and Google have a long history of collaborating. And now we're combining the best of our two operating systems into a unified platform focused on faster performance, longer battery life, and a thriving developer community. There are a lot of privacy features announced during the events as well. Two years ago at I.O., I announced auto-delete. We have since made auto-delete the default for all new Google accounts. Now after 18 months, we automatically delete your activity data and this is now active for over 2 billion accounts. We want to free everyone from password pain. Password alerts will let you know if we detect any of your saved passwords have become compromised in a third-party breach. And a quick fix feature in Chrome. The assistant will help you navigate directly to your compromised accounts and change your passwords in seconds. And I'm sure you use Google Photos, so this piece of information might be very important for you. Today, there are more than 4 trillion photos and videos stored in Google Photos. Soon, we're launching Little Patterns. Little Patterns show the magic in everyday moments by identifying not so obvious patterns in the photos you take and resurfacing them to you. We also had the first look at MUM or the Multitask Unified Model. MUM is changing the game. With its language understanding capabilities, it's highlighting that Mount Fuji is roughly the same elevation as Mount Adams. But fall is the rainy season in Mount Fuji, so you might need a waterproof jacket. And here's an important announcement for all those who use uh, Google Docs for their work. For over a decade, we've been pushing documents toward collaborative linked content inspired by the web. Smart Canvas is our next big step. And this fall, we're excited to bring Meet directly into Docs, Sheets, and Slides for the first time. And wow, this one looks interesting for sure. We were all grateful to have video conferencing over the last year, but there is no substitute for being together in the room with someone. So several years ago, we kicked off a project to use technology to explore what's possible. We call it Project Starline. It's early and currently available in just a few of our offices, but we thought it'd be fun to give you a look at people experiencing it for the first time. Using high resolution cameras and custom built depth sensors, we capture your shape and appearance from multiple perspectives. And we have developed a breakthrough light field display that shows you the realistic representation of someone sitting right in front of you in three dimensions. And we've been hearing about Google's uh, this project for a very long time, but it finally gave us the first look and confirmed that this is not just a rumor, but a reality. Lambda. It's a language model for dialogue applications. Natural conversations are generative, and they never take the same path twice. Lambda is able to carry a conversation no matter what we talk about. Let's see what happened when we talk to a paper airplane. What's the worst place you've ever landed? That would have to be in a puddle. I was just barely still intact, so I was stuck there for a few minutes. It was quite annoying but it is still trained only on text. So we need to build models that allow people to naturally ask questions across different types of information. These are called multimodal models. For example, when you say, show me the part where the lion roars at sunset, 
we will get you to that exact moment in it. And this last feature that we are going to show you is something that most of you might have been waiting for for a very long time. It's kind of useful too because now you can delete your internet history even if you're not using the incognito mode. To keep our users safe, everything we build is secure by default. For example, people tell us they sometimes wish they could easily delete the last thing they searched. And we heard you. So now, just tap your profile picture to access your menu and immediately delete recent search history from your account. So here is everything that was announced at the Google I.O. last night. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.